Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Hakubun Shimomura, the Minister of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology, and also the Minister of Olympics and Paralympics Games of Japan. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend today's forum. I would like to extend my appreciation. On behalf of the sponsors, I would like to extend a word of greeting to you all. In order to support the culture and art activities for the disabled means that uh, we are going to promote the participation uh, to society of those people and also whether or not uh, they're disabled or not disabled, uh, we want to create a society that uh, everyone can coexist by respecting each other. So this kind of supporting activity is extremely important, especially for Japan. We are now uh, working toward the 2020 Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games, not only uh, from the sports side, but th also through culture, we want to build up the momentum uh, in Japan for this. And among that, in that process, we see that there are a lot of uh, discussions now being held about the possibilities of art activities and art expressions of the disabled. disabled. And among the art activities by the disabled, we have been seeing many artworks that receive a high uh, have a high repetition from in and out of the country because of the uh, art uh, work that is not uh, is unconventional from a value uh, from the past uh, unconventional from a value perspective and with this impact uh, we are seeing a extension uh, of the area of the uh, art and a deepening and this has been contributing greatly to the development of art and culture in the 2020, 2012 London Olympic and Paralympic Games, the one uh, there was a, a cultural program that was supporting the disabled artists. Uh, this was a huge program, uh, unlimited, and was uh, deployed. Uh, was held uh, in UK nationwide. And even after the games, uh, the activities has been continued as the Olympic legacy has made gr uh, wonderful achievements. And to learn from the activities of the UK is very important for Japan as well. Now, in today's forum, the theme is inspiration for the future arts and disability. For the speakers, uh, we have received uh, the senior producer of uh, Unlimited uh, from 2014, uh, jo Ms. Jo Vilrent. And we are expecting that we'll be able to hear about the culture and art activities uh, of the disabled uh, people in UK and also the results and achievements uh, brought by uh, the unlimited activities. Also, toward the 2020 Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games, we hope that the uh, disabled artists will be able to expand the ac their activities and to so that we can build a society that is more diverse. And we expect that the discussions held today will open new frontiers. Now, as a closing, I would like to thank uh, all the participants to today's forum, all the speakers, the moderators, and also Na National Arts Center Tokyo, who has provided the venue for today's forum. I would like to extend my appreciation, heartfelt appreciation. We would. Uh, I have my expectation is that everyone will respect the diversity and the differences between one another. And we uh, hope that we'll be able to create a new value in society that will enable the participation by everyone. Thank you. Now, uh, we would like to invite speakers from the UK and Japan. But before I do so, I would like to give you a little information on the culture program done at the time of 2012 London Olympic and Paralympic Games, which was mentioned by the minister called Unlimited. 2012, the London Olympic and Paralympic Games had a very big impact 
in the UK, one of that is to offer an environment in which the people with disability or artists with disability can have a more opportunities to express themselves. So I would like to talk about that first before asking the other speakers come to the stage. First, I'd like to show you some video to begin with. That's our time for unlimited. Quoted buses of opportunity. For me, it's about upping the ante. It's about making things bigger. It's about making things better. It'll be about those cultural partnerships building on successes that are already beginning now. Using the talents and skills of disabled and deaf people to get them involved in the cultural Olympiad. Working together to produce something new. Presenting work on a main stage in a way that they've not had the opportunity to do before. It's about using the games to inspire young, very creative, disabled artists to engage in high quality artistic endeavour. Stand up here today! The games are inescapably inspiring and so you'll see that whoever the artists are over the next few years, they will be inspired by the themes of the games. It's a big celebration of difference. You've got so many different countries competing. It's a celebration of diversity. It's a celebration of creativity. Engaging with things that you've never engaged with before, never tried before. Reaffirming the ageless values of the Olympic movement and Paralympic sport. Courage, determination, creativity and ingenuity. Unlimited is a very important initiative because it will give credibility and support to artists that may not have had access to mainstream support before. Unlimited provides really important commissioning opportunities to artists which will help propel them towards 2012, not just in terms of the fantastic opportunities of the Cultural Olympiad itself, but also the Olympic and Paralympic opening and closing ceremonies too. The first time ever we will be through by millions and millions of people. It's our big chance to say globally we're here. It's an exciting collaboration, it's a partnership between all the UK Arts Councils and it's an amazing opportunity to use the catalyst of the Olympic Games to put the work of disabled artists on the world stage. Unlimited will shine a light on the UK as a country exploring the issues of social inclusion and cohesion. We're going to see what disabled people can do, not what they can't, and how their contribution through their performances and their arts add to the cultural legacy and heritage of this nation. It's a very important message to the world, I think, about disabled and deaf people. And that is that there is more that unites us than divides us. In a sense, the possibilities are unlimited. Opportunities, funding, people, friendships, cultural partnerships. It's exciting, it's groundbreaking, and it's unlimited. 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 I think the work we can do can inspire change everywhere. So as you saw, this is the film created just before the Olympic Games. You can see the excitement in anticipation of the Olympic Games, knowing that they will have attention from the rest of the world. Using this as an opportunity, art people and also the organizing committee people they are really committed to change the opportunities for the artists with disabilities. The programs, you see festivals because you see the results. However, the, the results, our program itself started in 2009, and they were talking about the the talent uh, development and also the uh, commissioning to give more opportunities for people with disabilities. And also they have uh, commissioning programs and uh, international collaboration opportunities. So Unlimited provided all these opportunities from 2009 together with the uh, uh, Olympic uh, Committee and British councils around the world and uh, around the uh, UK. They did a collaboration to create a great work, the Unlimited. against the backdrop of 30 years of, let's say, the activities of artists with disability. I think uh, you can actually listen to the situation by Joe, but uh, what 
I would like to explain to you is the impact of unlimited. This uh, was impact. This impacted uh, the activities of a uh, scale of uh, artists with disabilities, but also collaborators like uh, venue, like uh, uh, theaters and museums. They also changed the uh, awareness of working with uh, artists with disabilities. And also, the uh, this unlimited um, created the body of knowledge as to how you can involve artists with disability and also the marketing of artists with disabilities. So uh, this unlimited created a body of knowledge and also audience was in impacted as well. It's not that uh, people with dis disability performing art, that's because uh, that's wonderful. It's not that the uh, the artist was enlightened, the correction audience was enlightened by the fact of the quality of art performed by artists with dis disabilities. And also, The policy-wise, there was a uh, guarantee of opportunities for people with disability to have uh, access to the venue. So people in London, people not in the art community, but also at large now think that the Unlimited was a game changer. In 2013, our British Council started a coordination and to bring uh, unlimited work with European counterparts to a year program until April of this year called Unlimited Access. In Europe, there are many art festivals, and so uh, we wanted to provide mobility enhancement uh, to those festivals so that the people with disabilities can participate. And also, the artists with disabilities, what kind of activities they are doing should be disseminated. We want to connect the dots. So disabilityartinternational.org is the site we run. Brazil, Australia, UK, you get information on these countries. So uh, 2020 onward, we would actually involve our information in this uh, website as well. Now, from London, the uh, Olympic Games will go to Brazil from uh, 2012 to 20, uh, 2016. There is a, a work between UK and Brazil. Unlimited is one of the very important pillar. Brazil situation is different from Japan in terms of culture and the rest of the world, but Brazilian art related people, including artists, UK is trying to work with Brazilian counterparts to activate the work done by people with disabilities. For example, UK artists can go to the Brazil and to do performance. And not only that, as Joe will mention, Shape Hearts, Shape uh, will actually do some site auditing to see the situation of the museums and venue and stop people, front house or technicians, they receive trainings as a part of the program. And something I would like to introduce is this. At the time of uh, London uh, Olympics and the Paralympic Games, you saw participatory performance and the circus element was included in the uh, performance and because they have uh, been given training they were able to do a very good quality tra uh, performance and Jenny City uh, Brea Sierra company now is uh, collaborating with the Brazilian Rio Circus so that uh, people who participate in the opening session of the London Olympic Games can work with performers of uh, Brazil and this was collaborated and Sao Paulo, London and Rio de Janeiro, they did the performance. And last week I was in Hong Kong and Singapore and uh, I met uh, my colleagues in uh, British Council of Asia. And in Asian countries as well, they are trying to come up with the idea of supporting artists with disabilities. And this is one of the very big topic. So. After me, there will be speakers and they will be discussing 
uh, topics about towards 2020 and beyond, what kind of uh, path or journey we need to go through. That some, is something that we would like to discuss together with you. But anyway, I would like to now invite Joe Verent to you, who will be a keynote speaker today. And uh, for uh, Minister uh, Shimomura, uh, because of his uh, public uh, other his schedule, he will have to leave now. Thank you very much, Minister, for your attendance. Now, Joe, may we call you upon stage?